Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, professor of organic chemistry here at Romano Scientific and the creator of the Orgo Man products such as the Dot Destroyer book and the Organic Chemistry Odyssey. I'm here with Professor Blois, who was actually my professor in college, and he's going to do some math questions for us. All right, Professor, if you can show us some good word problems. Sure, yes. These are problems that involve distance, velocity, and time. So let's read the first problem here. Car A drives a distance of 40 miles in one hour. Car B drives the same distance in 50 minutes. How long would it take car B, driving at the same speed, to drive a distance of 120 miles? Well, there are a number of ways to do this, and actually it looks more difficult than it actually is. We could compute the speed of car B, because car B is obviously going faster, it covers the same distance in only 50 minutes, which is 5 sixths of an hour. So we have car B, the velocity of car B, is equal to 40 miles in only 5 sixths of an hour. Okay, and if we uh, simplify that, 6 fifths times 40, uh, 5 goes into 8, 6 eighths are 48 miles per hour. Once we know car B's velocity, we how long will it take car B to drive 120 miles at the same rate? We get, we're going to divide the number of miles over the velocity, 48 miles per hour. And that's going to give us, well, let's see, 12 goes into uh, 12, uh, 120, um, 10 times, 12 goes into 48, four times. And this comes out to be 2.5 hours, okay? Now, there's, a, there's an easier way to do this. You don't have to go through all this if you're clever and notice that this, the distance that car B is traveling is simply three times the 40 miles that it originally traveled. So therefore, it's going to take three times the length of time it originally took to travel 40 miles. So the simple way to do this is to say, yes, since 120 is three times 40, we're just going to multiply 50 minutes by three and get three times 50 is 150 minutes. And we... Uh, Subtract, we did subtract 120 from that, but this comes out to be two hours and 30 minutes, which is then equal to two and a half hours. And so that's the easy way to do this. Okay, let's look at the second uh, problem, and this is also a problem that looks harder than it is. Abe and Betty are located 240 miles apart. They start driving toward each other at the same moment, each moving at constant speed. If Abe drove at a speed of 70 miles an hour and the two friends meet after two hours, how fast did Betty drive? Okay, well, the easiest of way to approach this is to say that, to see that they're 240 miles apart, they, can, they compress that distance, they uh, uh, use up that distance in only two hours. So that means the distance between them is shrinking at a rate of 240 miles per hour divided by two, the, the distance between them is shrinking at a rate of 120 miles an hour. Well, that's going to represent the sum of the two velocities. Since the two cars are moving toward each other, that's going to represent the sum of the velocities of the two cars. So this is equal to the velocity of car A plus the velocity of car B. Well, we know that the velocity of car B or of, of car A is equal to 70 miles an hour. Okay. And therefore, 120 miles an hour, if we subtract 70 from both sides, the velocity of Betty's car, car B, is going to be 50 miles per hour, and that's choice B. And it's as simple as that. Okay. Okay, I hope this gives you a really good idea on the types of questions that are going to be expected with you for you on these type of exams like the DAT and the OAT. These are fast and easy questions. Make sure you can do them and go see the Math Destroyer for even more Professor Bloy's questions. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye. See you in study group.